Hello and welcome to the Leadership Academy Curated Library. Leadership is one of the most heavily studied subjects. Trust me, after earning a bachelor's degree in business management, a master's in organizational leadership, a doctorate in strategic leadership, and serving in the military for over 30 years, I believe that the real problem is that there's too much leadership literature to explore. So the goal of this curated library is to narrow the focus for you. The Leadership Academy serves to point you to the leadership principles that are most relevant to my novel. These are primarily team leadership, change leadership, and followership, with a big focus on worldview transformations. At the bottom of this page, you can download a free sample chapter from my novel. In this scene, David meets the St. Paul's Quartermaster, Dr. Joseph Rennell, who orients him to his new duties. Rennell confronts David about the reason he was fired from his previous job with the Tyropian Valley staff and offers him a fresh start and a clean slate, on the condition that David agrees to obey Rennell's rules. This chapter highlights the importance of the role of followership, something that will pose a major challenge for David. The classic definition of leadership is to motivate a group of people to act toward a common goal. And while I agree with that definition, that's not the focus of this library. My views on leadership are heavily influenced by my studies of spiritual warfare and emergentism. For me, the larger the organization, the more pronounced the risk of corruption. Even though corruption can certainly happen at the smallest of scales, the level of the individual, at larger scales, the amplitude of corruption increases exponentially and with catastrophic consequences. Why can't some nations ever seem to climb out of the trap of systemic corruption? Why do their citizens risk their lives to flee those countries? What is it those people are seeking? We live in a fallen world. Corruption is the normal or baseline of the human condition, but we can fight back against corruption with leadership. To me, leadership is not about motivating ever larger groups of people towards ever larger goals. To me, leadership is about arming individuals with the tools they need to do what is right ethically and morally. It begins with the individual. The real fight takes place within the mind and heart of each person. Until the Lord returns again to restore the kingdom, personal leadership is the weapon we can use in the battle against the evil and corruption of this world. Enjoy the library.